So welcome to Techno Dad Life. In uh, today's episode, we're going to be installing Tau Tilly, which is a Plex Media Server monitor. And so basically, it will give you different statistics about what movies you watch and different things going on your Plex server. And as always, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And here we go now. Right, so first thing we're going to do is type in Tautilly and look for that. Then we're going to scroll down to the Linux server Tautilly. Click on that. Start to install. Click close when that's done. Now we need some information. Uh, so first we need to have Plex installed in order for this to work because Tautilly monitors Plex. So next we're going to click on Tautilly, click info. And that brings up our info page. And so here is the different information that we need to keep track of. Next, what we're going to do is go to Shell in the Box. Click Web Client, Advanced, Proceed. Log in as root. Put in your password. Then type ID and your username. And for us, our username is user1. Next, we're going to copy our UID, which is 1,000, and our GID, which is 100. So we'll need those for when we do our Docker. Now we're going to go back to Docker. We're going to click on Tautuli again and run image. And so we're going to call this Tautuli. Restart policy always. We're going to leave it in bridge mode. Make sure we have 8181 here. If you have something that conflicts with this port, then you would just put a different port here which isn't used. Click the plus sign. Now we're going to scroll down and we're going to put our UID in, but we're going to put PUID. For us, that was a thousand. Then we're going to click plus and GID, and we're going to put in PGID and a hundred. Next, we're going to go down to container paths, hit slash. We're going to click on config. So first thing we're going to do is make a config folder. So we'll go down to our network, go to our server. This is server think2. We're going to click on app data and make a new folder. We're going to call that Tautilly to make it easy on ourselves. Then we're going to go to shared folders, app data. Click on Tautilly and OK. Next, we're going to hit that slash in and go to logs. This is going to be the logs of our Plex library and we want this to be read only. So we're going to click over there. So next we're going to click on the folder. Go to shared folders. Go to app data. Plex. Library. Application support, MediaPlex server, and then click on logs and OK. Hit the plus sign. And then we're going to click save. So next what we'll do is copy our IP address. And we're going to go over here, paste that. Type in colon 8181, hit enter. And then we'll be logged into our server, our Tautilly server. And so then we will just go through these one at a time. So you need to put in your Plex username and password. And once you've done that, you can authenticate it and go on. And so once you've gone through all these steps, let's take a look at see what it actually looks like. And you can see here, first, uh, let's take a look at our Plex server. So first thing you want to make sure of is you actually have some movies. So when you look at Tautilly, it will show you something. And if you haven't already watched movies, make sure you watch one first. And here you can see it shows the movie that we just uh, looked at on Plex. And shows I watched 21% of it. Shows how many movies are, are a library and what was recently added. And then when you go for the, the different tabs, it will show you, again, libraries. There's only one movie in this library. 
any users that we have, our history, and it even shows uh, how I watched the movie, and then graphs of my watching history. Uh, so I just did this on another server, so not much time here. So that's how you install Tautili to keep track of your Plex watching habits. And that's it for today. You have a great weekend and see you next time. Bye-bye.